Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. This is another episode of Friday Sews. So what has been going on in my sewing room? Well, not much happened this week. Um, I had plans to make the um, Harper cardigan uh, with the fabric from the uh, Think Pink box number 23. So the only thing I was able to do was just to cut that pattern. That's it, nothing else. And then let me tell you why I didn't have any time to do that. Um, I was summoned by my husband to help him to do something in our bedroom. We have been planning um, to add a, it's like a faux fireplace. I had purchased an electric fireplace in December, in the beginning of December. I purchased from Amazon and it arrived. So we were supposed to put it, start back then in the beginning of December. But then we decided to um, hire an electrician so we can put a plug just for the um, electric fireplace. So we wanted to put a separate breaker just for that. So we had to hire an electrician and then the electrician had to come and give us a quote. And then they had the guy had to pull permits. And with all of that, that took about, I would say maybe a month to almost have everything done. He finished everything in between Christmas and New Year's. That's the uh, when he finished the job because it's not just doing the job. Then we have to wait for the uh, uh, inspector to come by and approve everything. So then we can just go and actually get the permit closed and everything is done, no problem. So that was done, no problem. And then we decided to do it. So we went out last weekend, Friday night, we went out uh, to Home Depot to buy some two by fours because we said, let's do this. We have to do that. The fireplace is here. And if it doesn't work, I still have time to return it to Amazon. It was up until January 31st. So Saturday, which is the day that I sew, I couldn't do any sewing because I was helping my husband with the uh, fireplace doing the framing. I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures here or here. I'm not sure where I'll have some space. I'll just move something around and I'll add some pictures for you guys to see the framing of it. It is not finished because we just did the framing. I am going, we, not I, we are going to purchase some uh, shiplap. I don't know if you know anything about that, but, and before we, Put it on the outside of the frame to make everything nice and pretty we're gonna have to paint all that wood so it's going to take at least uh another i would say another week or so to finish that and another thing that it took us a little longer to do it while we were putting the fireplace down i forgot to order <laughs> the tv mount because the tv right now in the bedroom, well, not right now, because we moved everything out of there. It was on top of a um, high dresser that I that we have. So it was just on top of that, it was not attached to the wall. But now that I have that, we're making the uh, fireplace, full fireplace, um, we're gonna have to put the TV on the wall. And I forgot to buy the mount. And before we finish and close everything, we have to make sure that we have two by fours in it somewhere to mount the TV mount to make sure that it's well mounted and it's not going to fall down. So that took a little bit longer because of that too. So that's why I did not sew last weekend. Like I told you, I was only able to cut the um, Harper cardigan. I do have the pattern here, the Harper cardigan. I, I had this pattern already because I had made it before and I was able to cut this nice little blue fabric here. That's from the uh, Think Pink box number 23. There was enough to cut this and I still have, it's not one yard, it's a little bit less than a yard uh, left over. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it because it's not enough to do like it. Maybe a little, uh, sleeveless tea or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to keep it and then 
try to do some patchwork and different colors or something in the future. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So the Harper cardigan, I'm hoping to finish it this next weekend. I'm hoping if I don't get summoned again <laughs> to help him with the um, finishing the uh, fireplace in the bedroom. Um, so that's, that is the plan. So what's going on with life? Not much is going on. Um, just regular stuff, work, getting busy all the time and work. But there's something that I am going to tell you. I finally decided on a date and I purchased tickets, airplane tickets to go and visit my mother in Brazil. So the plans that I had to do some all other things here in the sewing room that has changed a little bit because I need to make my uh, the executive carry all as you remember um, on Tuesday's video I did say I had my uh, make nine videos and I did add the um, executive carry all it's one of the nine plan planned for this year so I want to make it which is this one right here hope it's not too much of a glare if it is I'll just put something else and I want to make the bigger one here that's the one I want to make so I can put it put my computer and some other things inside I do have this piece of fabric this piece of fabric here it's a nice it's cotton I think this is the yeah this is the way to go this is cotton, it's 100% cotton. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby, um, maybe last year, maybe a little bit more than that. It was on sale, of course. <laughs> it was on the bin, the uh, sale bin. So I purchased, I think I have two yards of this. So I was thinking of making the bag out of this. This is like an old world um, fabric. That's why I liked it. You see here it has like the old world to it so I want to make use this fabric to make the um, computer bag so this is what I'm going to use I don't know uh, the lining fabric which I'm gonna use I might just do the same thing my daughter gave me an idea because this is light fabric light colored fabric you see it has a bit of light green here and it has like the um, orangey type things here actually here you can see all of the different colors right there and if you will catch all of them but she gave me the idea for the gusset you know the gusset of the bag at the bottom make it dark maybe like this color I will go to uh, Joann's and look for a darker gray or some um, gray color or something to be the coordinating fabric for this. And at the bottom on the gusset, make it in the dark fa fabric because she's like, well, if you put it in the floor, wherever you put it, it's going to get dirty. And she's right. So whenever you get on an airplane, you have to either put the computer, whatever the on top or if there's no space up there you have to kind of put it on the on the floor at your feet so I liked her idea of doing the bottom with the darker color and I might just do that with the uh, um, coordinating fabric with that one so I'm going to do that I don't have any of the strapping I don't have the zipper I don't have the hardware the uh, uh, d-rings or the, any of that stuff I don't have anything to it I have to purchase the zipper because the zippers that I have here at home, the continuous zippers that I have, I bought a package that it was white, purple, gray, um, black, blue, actually navy blue, and nothing goes with this. So I'm going to have to buy something a little bit on the lighter side, maybe a beige or light green. I don't know if I'm going to find a light green color. So maybe I'll buy a beige color so I can make, put the zipper on um, for this bag. So that is the plan. Don't know how long this is going to take me. I am going to try to make it in between everything else. So I was reading the uh, executive carry all um, 
and I need to buy the one inch strapping. I need to buy five and a half yards of that. That is a lot of strapping. I need to also buy for hardware, either a one inch D ring or triangle rings. I have to have two of those. I also have to buy the a one inch wide mouth slider and one inch uh, swivel hooks. I need two of those. So that is pretty much, I think, everything other than fabric that I need to, well, it calls for fusible, um, some fusible interfacing and the soft and stable, but I do have the soft and stable because my daughter at one point, she purchased, I think two or three packs of the soft and stable. So I have enough of that. I don't have to buy that. And I have to decide on the coordinating fabric and the lining if I'm gonna use the same lining because I do have two yards of that fabric. Yep. So that's pretty much it that I had for you guys today. Didn't have much to show for sewing per se. It was just, this was just pretty, it was just a chatty one, a chatty Friday. That's uh, what a lot of people do. I try to make some sewing for you guys, but it did not happen this week. So if you like this video, I would like you to please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I would ask you to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me as I'm trying to grow my channel. So I'll see you next week and hopefully I will finish the Harper cardigan so I can show it to you guys and maybe I'll do something else. Who knows? I'll see you next time. Bye.